Hey, what's up, y'all? It's popping in. It's D. Boss reacts to this video by Blackie Speaks. It's titled Young Thug Turned on Gunna. Damn. Damn, Gunna. So we're going to see how he turned on him and, and what happened. There's also a leaked audio that has come out, so I'm going to react to that as well. Apparently, he has made comments about Gunna. Um, so we're going to see what was said and what's going on. Uh, let, let's watch. Now, Young Thug turns on Gunna, or should I say Young Thug appears to turn on Gunna because that's what they want you to believe. Mm. Before we start, if you love me, drop a like. Mm. If you hate me, still drop a like because you're probably going to love me at the end of this video. If cops pull up, I put that crack in my crack. I'm going to talk about this recent story involving Young Thug and Gunna. I'm sure you might have seen a thing or two in relation to this story already. Last night, slam! Jeffrey, Sex, Thugger, aka Young Thug, who's been behind bars with that Rico indictment ever since May 2022, dropped an album. It's titled Big. Um, I've only heard a few songs, but uh, I'm not impressed so far. But I'm only, I'm only three, four songs in. I'm, I'm gonna give it a chance, of course. I'll fuck with Thug's music overall, but mm, 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 this feels like uh, these are some throwaway tracks. Well, they clearly are because he's in jail. <laughs> so these clearly were, were songs that he didn't want to use for his projects. So he just had them laying around and he just put them together for an album, it seems. But gonna gonna give it a chance. This is business and um, it's a decent project. With the way social media has been talking about And one project, is not... He dropped the album of the century. But if you ask cover. me, I think it's just another Young Thug album that slightly sounds better than his last drop. That aside, because we're not here to talk about the All music, right? right? Baby, Apparently, baby. Young Thug has now turned on Gunna. He's all fucked with his last Allegedly. Album. So the story is this, and it's actually really interesting how this entire thing is coming to the surface. Last night, coincidentally enough, a supposed phone call leaked between Young Thug and another person, apparently it's supposed to be a little dark on the other line. And on this phone call, Young Thug says a couple things. Essentially, Thug says this, hey, I'm dropping a surprise album on the same day as Gunna. If you want I'm gonna listen to it myself. I guess he don't want to play the actual audio. I'm gonna play it. And this him. If it get copyrighted, then it's just gonna get cut out the video, <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna listen to it myself. He's talking about Gunna. I welcome you, Lil Durk, to save that verse for my album so you can diss him. So this is pretty much supposed to be a phone call oh. of Young Thug encouraging Lil Durk, who did actually diss Gunna earlier this year, to diss him again on Thug's album. So that's one of the biggest parts of this story. And mm. before we move on, let me just give you my take on this supposed phone call. It's being speculated that this phone call is artificially generated. AKA it's Young Thug, but in artificial intelligence form. AKA it's fraudulent. I believe it was Young Thug's sister who came out and said, hey, this is Cap and this is AI. Now let me give you my take on whether I think this is real. So I think this phone call is very real. There's no indication as to it being fake. However, and this is the most important part, so listen closely, all this shit is promo for Young Thug's album. With the knowledge that I have and with the things that I've been told, this is nothing but promo, right. aka this shit very right here is orchestrated. Dropped. Even excluding what I was told, I think it's kind of obvious from the outside, just objectively speaking, if you look at this, that this entire thing is a setup to sell more records and fool the fans that Thug and Gunna are not on good terms because Gunna supposedly snitched, which he didn't do. He took an Alfred plea and that is not snitching. Like he works with the feds. That's a defendant pleading guilty to one or several offenses while maintaining one's innocence in the process and any of the statements Gunna made in court can be used in the conviction of YSL or Thug. So given that info, Gunna managed to get out of this while pleading guilty and maintaining his innocence and he was able to block the court from using his statements against Thug or YSL. That aside, continuing from where we left off, it's always funny to me that fans are so gullible. Yeah, I don't realize that these rappers got each other on speed dial. All this shit that you're seeing right now is nothing but an attempt to sell you more records. And while you guys are busy picking sides, these dudes are collecting checks and cutting checks. While you guys are busy getting invested in a rap beef that has nothing to do with you, I might add, these dudes are laughing to the bank and as a matter of fact, laughing at you while they're at it. Thug also had this one line from the album on a song, Jonesboro, where he said, y'all niggas just a bunch of dime. You can't say the N word, you're white. Yes, I can, shut the fuck up and let me continue the video. Nigga told and he was my homie, I can't miss him, ain't nobody feel him, tell me what you seen, what you saw. <laughs> all right, how you on what? Me. So this is a line people are connecting to Gunna. Is Thug talking about Gunna on this? There's absolutely no proof that he is. I mean, how many lines about some random homie snitching on him doesn't a rapper like Young Thug have in his music? <laughs> this could literally be one of the many songs that he had in the vault before he got locked up. And of course, it's put on the album to lead the gullible fans astray who get overly invested in a rap beef that has nothing to do with them. And then boom, look at me talking about this, right? Right now with you, you see how that works? 
promo, marketing. Mm. What did I say on that one tweet? Let me see if I can pull it up right now. Your favorite rapper's beef ain't your beef. You need a job. I still don't Absolutely. understand the logic behind picking sides and something like this. Because the biggest thing that needs to be highlighted here is this. This shit is fictional. Not the Rico and Diamond, because that's very real. But these records, the supposed aftermath of them falling out and the rest. It's all a beautifully written script that you're being sold because there's an opportunity to make a lot of money from the saga that is the Why So and Diamond. Now I want to clarify, this Rico and Diamond, okay? This entire case, that is very real, okay? I mean, Thug is locked up. He's literally been locked up since May 2022, so of course it's real. But this right here is not real. I want you to look at it like this. The Rico and Diamond is the creation of the movie. And anything after that is the marketing of said movie. The marketing is where you make the most amount of money. The marketing is where you make the money back that you lost on creating the movie. How are we as a collective, since they all got each other on speed dial, how are we as a collective gonna make this beneficial for all of us? Because ain't no money being made from Thug being locked up. Young Thug had how many people relied on him for a revenue stream? He's a million dollar opportunity just sitting in prison. Thug not being out in the streets is bad for business. The album is titled Business is Business. So right now, this is the let's sell the story phase to collect these checks that we lost in this Rico and Diamond so business can be right. Because believe me when I say this, as much money as Thug has, these million dollar lawyers representing him want their cut. He still has to fill the quotas his label expect from him. Him getting locked up is irrelevant. People in the building still gotta get paid. He has a staff of probably 20 to 30 people, maybe even more. On top of that, the kind of lifestyle he was living on the outside before he got locked up. What's that lifestyle looking like? Obviously very inflated. This Rico indictment has cost him probably a couple million dollars at this point. And we're not just talking about the money to fight the case. We're talking about opportunity cost. How much profit has him being incarcerated made him lose out on? And how much has it exactly cost him to be in the position that he's in? On top of that, it's been confirmed that Young Thug has at least six children with four different women and it could be more you never know right i'm telling you all this to show you that there's a financial incentive to orchestrate all this drama because that's how everybody's eventually going to collect theirs and recoup what they lost out on because with thug being locked up there's a lot of people losing financially unfortunately the fans can't really see it they're just being used as pawns in the bigger game which is to sell the story and make money everybody is in on this including the media now you're not gonna hear this from the media because they're being paid too if not being directly paid the sheer act of pretending like they don't know what's going on is the benefit in itself best believe that i could come on here and pick a side and that in return would allow me to milk the hell out of this content it's really easy to create a bunch of content when you're feeding into the one narrative or the other. I'm on Young Thug's side for this reason. I'm on Gunna's side for this reason. I'm Team Lil Durk and Lil Baby for this reason. So I want to encourage you to not pick a side because why would you? This is a very detailed, intricately written script, which its intended purpose is to lead the fans astray so the industry can collect their coins. Don't be fooled. Don't pick a side because your favorite rapper's beef ain't your beef. People gonna still pick a side though because it's fun. <laughs> it's fun for these niggas. They ain't got nothing better to do. Um, I'm about to listen to the audio myself and come to my own conclusion but I don't think that makes much sense for all of them to be involved in it. I don't think Gunna is in on it because why would he participate in making himself look terrible? He looks like a rat in this situation, even though, you know, technically he didn't snitch. People still are saying he did. That is the narrative surrounding his name. So I highly doubt he would participate in uh, making himself look this terrible. Um, but yeah, I'm sure this audio being leaked right before his album drops is all strategic. Like it's not a coincidence. So I do agree with that. Uh, but I do feel like there's some, some, some issues going on behind the scenes with, with these niggas for show. Uh, but yeah, let's hear this audio. Hey, sir. I know I want you all, I'm dropping this, I'm dropping this, um, <clears throat> this, 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 um, surprise album. On the same day, same day, buddy drop his album. That shit coming up soon. I need a verse for you. If you if you feel like replying, if you feel like you want to reply to what that nigga saying or something, man, don't 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 do it. Let drop it on my app. I'm dropping a, a surprise album on the same day that fuck nigga drop. <clears throat> Send your verse in, bro. I want you on the same song. Send your verse in. Love, I love you, bro. Hey, dirt. Mm, I don't think that's AI. I would actually bet money that this is not AI. I think this is an actual recording. It just sounds way too natural. Like he's coughing, you know, something, something's up with his throat. He's like stuttering over his words a little bit. It's a very natural uh, voicemail. If someone is pretending to be him and using AI, I would think they would be as clear as possible. And of course, they would want to sound natural, but it wouldn't sound this natural. This is too natural. Unless the person is an extraordinary actor, which I highly doubt. This just sounds too real. I don't think this is AI whatsoever. Um, but he said that his sister came out and said that it's AI. I don't know why she would come out and say that. 
maybe she doesn't know what's going on. Because how the fuck you going to say? You, you wasn't there when he recorded the goddamn voicemail. So maybe she's just assuming it and she ain't talked to him. Or maybe she doesn't want Thug to look bad. So she's lying. You know, it, it could be multiple reasons why she would say that. But, yeah, that is not giving AI whatsoever. So, yeah, I guess he's just, he really don't fuck with Gunna. <laughs> or maybe, yeah, this is all a setup for, for his album. And he, you know, recorded this on purpose. And he wanted it to be leaked. Who knows what's going on? We don't know. Only they know what's actually taking place. But, once again, I don't think Gunna is a part of this. Even if everybody else is involved in this whole scheme or whatever to get more album sales and to have more drama surrounding their names, I don't think Gunna is a part of that whatsoever. Uh, but, yeah, this is wild. This is wild. I'm going to keep listening to both of them, though. I actually uh, think Gunna's album is decent. I'm going to give it a couple more listens, but... I, I like a few songs on there. A lot. Thug, though, like I said, I'm still listening to it. But, yeah, from the first few songs, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Uh, but, anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about all this. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!